Hello, this is Gans Balloon. Welcome back from last time's cliffhanger with Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Flashback Time! Actually, to be honest, I'm gonna try to do this all in one thing. Not the whole game, obviously. I mean, that would be insane. This whole flashback in one thing, because I've been kind of dreading it. Hey, how you doing? Um, it's actually really important to the plot, and plot-wise, it's a pretty good flashback. But gameplay-wise, it's so boring. N nothing happens. It's just like a half hour. It's like a half hour to to an hour of gameplay where you just don't do anything. <sighs> yes, everything is fine. Stop. He's he's doing squats. Why is Cloud doing squats? That seems out of, well. Then again, he did do squats before, but he needs someone to show him how to do it. Hmm. Something's fishy here. Cloud is so full of emotion. <laughs> Wait, did he say this was five years ago? Cloud, are you telling me Cloud is twenty-one? I thought for sure he was eighteen. Go figure. To be just like you. Uh, I'm sure. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Okay. Mr. Sephiroth. How do you feel, Sephiroth Senpai? I thought you wanted me to notice you. Oh, I do, I do, I do! <laughs> Reports of malfunctioning and producing brutal creatures! First of all, we dispose of the creatures. Then we locate the problem and neutralize it. Sounds like a plan! What could possibly go wrong? Nibblin', that's my hometown, Senpai. Um... So, that's a dragon. Notice, we have 100... He just did 3,000 damage, and we... We're level 1. We're low, lower level than we started the game with. And we're... But no, we're totally in soldier, guys. I mean, obviously we are. I mean, proof is right in front of us. But the gameplay and story segregation with the level there, I feel like... The, the level discrepancy is pretty massive here. Sephiroth just, like, two-shot that dragon. I didn't do anything. But yeah, we don't actually get to control Sephiroth. Even though he fights with us, we don't get to control him. Which is kind of lame. Also, there... I don't remember if there's more... I'm pretty sure that's like literally the only battle in this whole sequence. So, you know. I mean, maybe there's another one that I'm not remembering, but I'm pretty sure that's the only one. Did I ever tell you I don't have a hometown, Kawhi? My mother is Genova. Geno- wait. That name sounds familiar. Yeah, that was the headless- the headless thing from the Sinra building. So, you know, that- that's kind of weird. Okay, so clearly he has abandonment issues with his father. Um. But hey, he- well, who are we kidding? 
Sephiroth is so badass, he was probably a child soldier. Uh, I cannot open up my menu. Hey! Psst! You keep wandering around here and you'll get in trouble! Being on watch is so boring. Uh, shall we practice? Something. Oh! That's not a bad pose. Kind of cool looking. Really. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's do it! Okay, this is a flashback. We can't pick up items here. So, I'm probably not going to talk to everyone I meet in the interest of saving time, particularly because, as I mentioned earlier, I kind of want to blow through here quickly if I can. Because this section is a little bit of a drag for me. <laughs> there is one thing that's important to do, though. Uh Okie dokie. Great. Wow, what an asshole. Anyway, I want this house. Yes. Yes, I did. Yep, this is Tifa's house. But no, we're here for a very, very important reason. I believe it is... Oh yeah, I did. Right here. No. Here? Here? Give me a sec, I'll find it. Maybe it is over here. Okay, this isn't what I was looking for. I remember it clearly. I read it. The letter was addressed to Tifa from the son of the guy that runs the general store. Tifa, how are you? I just arrived in Midgar eight days ago. Yesterday, all of Nibelheim got together to welcome me. Wait, what? But you just went to mid... God, what? Whatever. But everyone said he wasn't really that close to us. So even if I asked, he probably wouldn't have come anyway. Well enough about him. Midgar is really something. But to tell you the truth, I feel so behind on everything. So out of it. Even the rooms of people in the slums are clean. Uh, what? Okay, right now I'm living in the slums, but I plan to move to a really nice room, like the ones I've seen in magazines, once I make some money. But to do that, I guess I'll have to find a job first. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, okay. Water tower. Old man, parents, monsters. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Now, if I can find the. There we go. That's what I needed. <laughs> no, we're joking, though. We did not actually take her underwear as far as she knows. No. What we're actually here for is to play on the piano because this is actually really important. I remember! I actually have this written down. Uh... 
Oh wait, no, I screwed up! Shit. I heard- I have heard this memory- this melody somewhere before. I've played it well. Gee, I wonder! Because it's like someone's limitee. No, this is important though, because for much later in the game, we need to do this in order to get, um, I want to say someone's ultimate weapon. It might be something different, like, maybe it's a level 4 limit break. Maybe it's, I don't remember, okay? I just know it's for something rare and useful and pow- and powerful. And kind of important at the end of the game. Well, near the end of the game. But you need to do the, it n now, otherwise it won't work later. I think. Hmm. Right, anyway. Anyway, that's all I wanted to do in here. Now, let's go visit our mother. That makes sense. You, what? How imper impersonal? There we go. Who the hell are they? Cloud d doesn't have any siblings. <laughs> Although the little boy is totes adorbs. But yeah, for serious, why are there kids here? Because Cloud definitely does not have any brothers or sisters. Damn straight I have. Wait, were they here before? I don't recall seeing them here before. Whatever. I have talked to both my mother and I've attempted to talk to Tifa. It didn't work out. I mean, yeah. Right. Talk to her. That's what I was doing. Um... That's actually a fair point. Let's go, let's go, let's go make Senpai notice us some more. I am Zangan. I travel around the world teaching children martial arts. You just jumped over my head. 128 students, eh? Tifa is your student. So you're Tifa's master. I actually legit didn't know know that. Um, I feel like you're gonna appear later on though, but I cannot for the life of me think of where you could possibly appear later on in the game. I don't know. If it comes up, it comes up, I guess. I will have to try to remember his name. Hmm. Senpai, senpai, notice me, senpai. <laughs> Neato. Anyway, uh, oh hey, I can open the menu now. I just want to show uh, show this quickly. Preemptive increases the rate of preemptive attacks and gives you plus two dexterity. Also, totally level one. Um, we cannot change our equipment, incidentally. Well, I guess someone's sleeping on the floor! Not it. And you know it ain't gonna be Sephiroth. Hmm. Well, that only leaves one room for one more. Do I need to, like, talk to him more, or... There we go. I hired a guide, eh? A local girl. I wonder who it could be. I mean, it could be anyone, even... wait for it. Wow, my timing was way off on that. Uh... Oh, it's a... Yeah. It's Tiva! Tiva had a cowgirl phase! Seriously, oh, wait, no, we already knew that, didn't we? 
it was, to was totally in one of the flashbacks earlier on, in one of the macro reactors, I actually just remembered. So yeah, once again, it's Tifa's cowgirl face. Anyway, let's go. Oh, right, the picture. I mean, yeah, you would want Tifa in the picture, wouldn't you? I mean, the whole point of this was really to get a picture of Sephiroth, so... Yeah. He does not care about me. Or at least he said as much earlier on. Hmm. Okay, yeah. That's... That doesn't look creepy at all. Also, I like how they're piping fumes pretty much directly into the valley. There we go. This place is terrible. Oh hey, we can go now! Oh, right. Tifa. Yeah, I mean, it does get harder because this bridge run practically goes on a 90 degree angle by the time you get to the end of it. It's completely ridiculous. Also, that happened! I gotta be honest, I feel Sephiroth should have be been able to easily hold on to that. I can only assume he fell down deliberately. Hmm. One person seems to be missing. Oh. Oh. That's quite interesting. Oh, there are battles here! Well, I stand corrected. I mean, it's still like, don't even do anything because Sephiroth just kills everything. Check out Bolt 3, though. I don't think we can even look at Sephiroth's materia. Oh no, we can. He has revive and also restore. He would need this, wouldn't he? You know, in case Cloud inevitably dies, because he only has 150 life and he's only level 1. He has Earth All, he has Fire, one empty slot, that's kind of odd. He has Lightning All and Ice All. But he can't do Fire All. Yeah, Sephiroth is just like, nope. Can I look at your equipment? I can! The Masamune! It's pretty cool. It doesn't have any growth, though. Gold armlet is kind of mediocre. Tough ring. Plus 50. Oh, hey, I have a power wrist. Should I really have that? I feel like something's off there. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Incidentally, to the best of my knowledge, Sephiroth doesn't have a limit break. Like, quite frankly, he's... Uh, invulnerable, like so. He, he he doesn't actually take damage, so having a limit break would be kind of redundant. Whereas Cloud will be killed by pretty much anything that touches him. So having a limit break on this Cloud is also kind of redundant. A mysteriously colored cave. The Mako energy is abundant here. I mean, that does make sense. You would build a re reactor that sucks the life out of the planet in a place that is well-suited to having the life sucked out. It stands to reason. Check out that, though. This is actually, this is actually pretty cool. There's like a big tree there, and there's some roots, which don't really look like they're in the best shape, to be honest, but, well, there's a lot of them. A Mako Fountain. A natural Mako Fountain. Basically, this is what reactors artificially create. 
Probably, yeah. We do condensed macro energy. Materia is produced. It's very rare to see materia in this natural state. Most materia is manufactured as a byproduct of um, react of macro reactors. But that is not how it is naturally formed. Anyone with the knowledge can freely use the power of the land and the planet. That knowledge interacts between ourselves and the planet, calling up magic. Or so they say. I mean, by definition, would not magic be mysterious? I mean, mis calling something mysterious is perfectly scientific. It just means unexplained. Or poorly understood. Anything that you anything that you don't understand is by definition at least somewhat mysterious. Hojo An inexperienced man assigned to take over the work of a great scientist. <laughs> Oh, okay. I think we're almost there now. Yep, there's the reactor. Right, well, we're right here. Let's just... Let's go all in. Yeah, we sure did take long enough. Oi. Just go inside already. I mean, I'm sorry for sounding impatient, but I was quite I think I was quite upfront that I was that I would be super impatient to get through this part. Uh... <laughs> but yeah, seriously, this part is kinda of boring. Can I uh there we go. Down here, and this is even worse than the reactors in Midgar. We're climbing down a freaking chain in order to reach the reactor core. And a casual glance at the layout of this place is obvious that it's intended to come this way. Genova. Okay. Well, you see... Um... Huh, what now? Condenses and freezes the macro energy when it's working correctly. What does macro energy become when it is further condensed? Well, it becomes materia. Puts something else in there. So is condensing macro energy in around something that is pre-existing? But what could it be, you ask? Okay, I'm actually not, uh... I'm trying to... There we go. The answer, of course... Is monsters. That is terrifying. A normal member of so normal members of soldier are humans that have been showered with Mako. You differ from the others, but you're still human. But what are they? They've been exposed to a far higher a uh, far higher concentration of Mako than you. Hmm. 
So, yeah. Hojo is literally creating monsters. Well, all those experiments from the Shinner building had to come from somewhere, I guess. Not to mention all the bio-weapons Shinner has. I mean, they have a lot of bio-weapons. And they aren't all just dogs. Sure, some of them are dogs. Presumably, they just trained them. I mean, if you call, if you call the, the tentacle head things dogs. Anyway, I digress. Uh, okay. You're... Okay. You're kind of freaking out a bit. They were human. I mean, I guess they are a little bit humanoid. Wait. Are the duck people... Shinder experiments as well, because I gotta say, I I feel safe in saying that that's a failed experiment right there. Uh, okay, that just exploded. You have red legs. Are you like incomplete or something? I actually always wondered about that. Look at that guy, like, the color... The, his his legs look red hot, but the rest of his body is a completely different color. It's like... I mean, obviously, he's it's not made of metal, so he's not just burning. He's not literally on fire, so he can't... He doesn't actually glow red hot, probably, like a piece of metal would, but that's what it looks like. So, the conclusion I always came to when I was younger, and I haven't thought of a better one, frankly, is that his upper body is complete, but his lower body isn't finished growing yet. So, it's like a... Uh... Hmm. It's like a shellfish. Oh, that's great. Uh, it's like a shellfish, where it sheds its uh, shell... And then it's really soft for a while until it hardens. That's sort of the same thought I had there. Where its upper body was hard, but its lower body wasn't. Um, if that makes sense. Anyway, uh, we're gonna stop off here. And join me next time when we finish the back story. So until then, this has been Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!